Welcome to Boots By. My name is William, and today I'm talking about how to use mink oil on your leather boots. I'm talking specifically today about work boots, but you can use this on any kind of leather. It doesn't even have to necessarily be a leather boot. It can be any sort of leather. All of this applies. So let's get straight into it. So first off, what is mink oil? Now, minks are a small little marmot, and basically you just take the marmot, you squeeze it out and squeeze out the juice, and boom, you got yourself some mink oil, 100% pure. Now, most mink oils on the market come in a little canister like this, unless you wanna buy the marmot and just squeeze it yourself. Most mink oil comes in a canister like this, uh, and this is a mixture of, there's sometimes like beef tallow, which is the juice of a cow, uh, you know, lanolin, juice of a sheep, or wax, juice of a bee. Mix these all up into something that they generally call mink oil, which is often a mixture. Now, the main reason why you would use mink oil is to weather seal, uh, add some waterproofing to the leather in your boots, at the downside to mink oil is that it will darken your boots significantly. So I would really only recommend using mink oil on a pair of work boots, such as this Ariat Work Hog, because you're gonna darken the leather a lot if you bought a pair of boots for fashion, for style, you know, going out in the city, you don't necessarily, you bought the color that you like, you don't wanna darken it, you know, six or seven shades, you wanna basically keep it the same. But for work boots, to me, color isn't as important. It's more that performance, making sure that you can get them wet if you're, you know, it's a rainy day or whatever, that you're protecting the leather, you're protecting the stitches. That's why you would use mink oil. So what do you need in order to apply mink oil to your leather boots? So first off, you're gonna need a glove. You can use a latex glove or one of these like, this is like a salad glove, I don't know. Uh, you get one of those. You're gonna need a microfiber towel, uh, anyone will do. And then you're also going to need mink oil. The best mink oil, in my opinion, or from what I've read, from what I've seen, is Phoebing's mink oil. I'm using Soft Soul. This is not the best mink oil, but I've had it for like seven years. I don't use mink oil very often, so I'm not gonna buy a new canister just to, to get a higher quality. Uh, but yeah, I would, I would recommend Phoebing's, and I'll put that down in the description below. Pause, it's time for a wrist check right here. I am wearing the Ver D7. It is an awesome USA-built automatic dive watch, and the D stands for dope. Guys, if you appreciate a little mink oil tutorial, make sure you hit the thumbs up, the like button, it helps out so much. And if you wanna learn more about different types of boots, get some different boot reviews, make sure you also subscribe. And I really, really appreciate it and look forward to seeing you there. Let's get to the core of it. How to use mink oil? Does it darken the leather? These kinds of questions, we're gonna answer them right here, right now, and show you exactly how to use mink oil on your leather boots. Now that I got this at a proper eye level, basically, Using mink oil is a super simple, super easy process. This boot is already pretty clean, uh, so I'm not gonna clean it, but if you're going to use mink oil and there's like mud or dirt on your boot, you're gonna wanna get that off first. If you, you can do that with a regular towel, get it wet, you know, make sure you get in the creases here and everything like that. You're gonna wanna make sure you take care of that before you put on mink oil. Otherwise, if it's relatively clean, you can just go straight for it and apply the mink oil. So I'm gonna use one glove right here, prepare the rubber glove, I'm going to open up my mink oil. This is what it looks like on the inside right here. Can you see that? Sweet. So basically, it's really just simple. I'm just going to kind of get some into a paste right here. Uh, you know, you can see how much I'm using right there. Sweet. And I'm going to just start rubbing it in. Now you're going to see how much this darkens the leather, how quickly it darkens the leather, um, and just why you wouldn't necessarily want to do this with a pair of city boots. And the only thing I'm gonna say before I kind of fast forward this to basically the completed version, you can see I'm just rubbing in circles right here and I'm making sure that I get into the welt right here. And I'm also making sure that I'm paying special careful attention around the stitches because that's where moisture gets in, that's where dirt can get in. And basically the problem that most guys have with their work boots is that, you know, as moisture and, and dirt and stuff like that gets into the seams, that'll rot out the stitches. And so they think the boot is done, but really the, the boot itself, the leather, the sole still has a lot of mileage to go. It's just the stitches that come apart and that's really hard to fix. So by applying mink oil and by really focusing in on those stitches and making sure you're, you're really spending some time on those seams, that's gonna help give you, it could be like an extra year or two years of life onto the end of your boot. So now, as you can see, I'm basically just doing this. It's not, there's nothing special. There's nothing crazy about it just making sure I spend some time, rub it all the way in, and then get into the welt and get especially along the seams, spend a little extra care attention 
on those parts. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna mink oil this entire boot, put it in fast forward, and then talk to you when I'm done. <laughs> Have it so i have fully oiled these boots as you can tell they are way 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 darker this almost looks like a black leather at this point when it started off a really light color so this looks way darker but it also has a lot more weatherproofing on it so i'm going to let this sit for about five minutes and then i'm going to go ahead and really like let it kind of seep in you want that mink oil to seep into the leather to saturate it to make sure that that leather continues to be nice and supple and then five minutes after that, I'm going to uh, use this microfiber towel and basically just wipe off the excess. That's all you're really doing. If you have two of these boots, um, you would go ahead and you would just mink oil the other one. That usually takes about five minutes, you know, three, four, five minutes. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and we'll give it five minutes and then I'm going to wipe it off. Okay, so it's been about five minutes and what I'm gonna do is just take this microfiber towel wipe off this boot and make sure there's no globs anywhere that are going to you know stain my jeans or anything like that or oversaturate you know stick around the stitches or anything like that to get some of the extra out of the seams and even it all out so that you know one part of the leather isn't darkening making sure all the parts of the leather are getting covered that kind of thing just a really easy brush you're not really go you're not going crazy with the microfiber towel you're just getting off the excess <laughs> All right, so that is how you mink oil your boots. It really is that simple. I just made sure that I was getting extra, you know, a little extra attention in the seams because that's kind of the most vulnerable part of your boot. But otherwise, it doesn't really take much time. You know, the whole process start to finish with, two, with one pair of boots might take you 10 minutes or something like that maximum. Uh, and then you get a really nicely weatherproof pair of boots. Now, I'm gonna answer a couple common questions. Probably the biggest question people have about mink oil is, does it darken the leather of your boot? I'm gonna say yes on this one. If you can tell, look at this before and after. Obviously, this boot is way darker than it was before. It's almost not even recognizable that that leather is the same. Now, this is going to lighten up significantly over the coming weeks. You know, you go out, it is gonna lighten back up several shades and it'll get closer to that original color. But once I've put mink oil on this, it's never gonna to return to that you know, it's never going to return all the way to that original color. It will always be dark. So if I was going to want to condition my boots but keep the leather the same, I would use something like Bic 4 or Venetian Leather Bomb. These are both really great options. Um, they will condition the leather. They will not add a ton of weatherproofing. Mink oil is way better at weatherproofing than either of these two options, but these keep the color the same. So, and, and they also condition the leather to keep that leather supple. A lot of guys ask the question, should I use mink oil on my brand new work boots before I even take them out into the field? And, you know, it really comes down to your preference. Mink oil right off the bat, when you, you know, add it to a new pair of boots, it's gonna help that longevity a good amount. And if you don't mind the darkening of the leather, then I think it's a good idea. You get the extra waterproofing. So if you are walking through the mud, uh, walking through puddles or anything like that. You're not really exposing the leather to any of those or the stitching. You're not exposing it to any moisture which can rot out the stitching that can saturate the leather. Um, so if you don't mind this darkening, then yes, absolutely. The second benefit of using mink oil on top of just the waterproofing is that it also helps soften up the leather so you're gonna break in your boots a lot faster. So guys, that's the full guide on mink oil. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up button, give it a like. I really, really appreciate that. And if you want to see more boot reviews, if you want to check out my Ariat Work Hog boot review, you can also check that out in the videos that are popping up around here. Hit that subscribe button. So helpful for the channel. I really, really appreciate it. And until next time, put your best boot forward.